right, everybody, I am back with another Nomad Survival video, and this is going to be another beta preview. Um, I was told this build is a little buggy right now, so I might not post this video, but if you're seeing this, that means I did. And I'm actually going to break up the Crusader video into a couple smaller videos so that it's not as long of a watch as the Adventure one was, even though with the timestamps you can just kind of hop around, but I want to break this up because I'll be going on... Uh, vacation over the weekend so i'm just going to schedule my videos to go out so i'm going to break these up a little bit so the crusader is another one of the characters that has some of the weapon skill branching done and i wanted to take a look at it just like we did with the adventure yesterday so the base weapon skill for the crusader is the holy aura inflict damage upon nearby enemies once a second the base damage for the skill is reduced by 50 percent every time your weapon skill is used attack enemies an additional time with base damage which isn't reduced interesting so it looks like it's been changed a little bit i'll have to see what it looks like in game so i'm gonna go crusader we'll go nomad we'll go on the crossroads because that's the easiest way to level up and enemy speed 300 percent so another new fx this looks pretty pretty freaking awesome i gotta say i i think it looks great uh let's see i'm just gonna try and grab whatever for the time being um, it looks really good. I, I like the new particle effect. It makes it look a little bit better, but if you couldn't tell, the little orb that shoots out, your little axes, are now gone. So I'm interested to see what happens at level 30. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Ooh, look at... The aura now is actually applied on Spectral Sword. So that was never done. But now it is. So I'm interested to see what's at level 30 and level 60. So I'm going to go ahead and skip to when I hit level 30 so you guys don't just die of boredom. And I will see you there. All right, guys. Just about to hit level 30 here. Let's take a look and see what our choices are for this new branching evolution weapon skill. All right. So that's pretty funny. So the first one is going to be Divine Aura. Holy Aura now always inflicts 100% base damage upon enemies. Every time your weapon skill is used, the additional attack has three times base damage. So, based off reading the original skill, it deals 50%, and then when your weapon skill goes off, it does 100% really quickly, and then it goes back to 50%. So now, it'll always be at 100%, and then whenever your weapon skill goes off, it's going to do three times the base damage. However, the... SP is going to go up to 300. This doesn't mean that the aura goes away, but it's going to go off less frequently for that extra big damage. And then we have Smite, which is Unleashed 5 Rotating Hammers that expand outward with enhanced knockback power. These hammers have 2 times base damage. So, kind of looks like they separated the abilities, which I kind of am for. Um, Divine Aura didn't really get any love, honestly. It was really nice for, you know, the first, like, minute. But if you leveled up once... We're lucky enough to see colorless glyph in your store you could pretty much replicate divine aura so i'm really really happy that they separated these two a little bit so for this video i'm just going to be going over divine aura and the two paths that you can get at level 60. so if we look here i mean i'm dealing looks like like 200 ish damage and then when the weapons are no, actually 100 and then when weapon skill goes off i hit like 240 ish 450 sometimes when i crit so the weapon, I mean, it's really good, and I can see how this is going to be really, really strong. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just pick up passives that don't really do anything other than up my defense, so I could really just see how well the weapon skill itself is. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and skip to level 60. All right, guys, we are back, almost about to hit level 60. And I got to say, I am a little concerned for the Crusader class with this evolution path, but... We will see how these level 60s might change my mind a little bit. I'm just a little worried for one particular reason, but uh, we can go over it in a second. Alright, so, level 60 for the Aura Tree. So there's Divine Aura is now modified by skill size. So, this is something I was assuming was going to happen. I've been trying to pick up weapon skill through the last couple of levels. I think it's like level 7 right now. Because um, I wanted to see if it was going to be impacted by it, and it was not. So I figured there's going to be a path for this, and that is going to be Aura of Conviction. Aura, Aura, 
aura. And then there's Imperial Presence. So your Divine Aura now inflicts two times base damage at all times. Every time your weapon skill is used, the additional attack has six times base damage. So it also increases the SP to 400. And it looks like it's just going to deal a ton of damage, which I'm interested in. But for the first walkthrough, I'm going to go with the Aura of Conviction. I want to see how big this guy can get because I have some concerns. So this isn't max size yet, but kind of want to go into the thing I'm worried about. So now that we've seen what this looks like, let's see if I can get the skill size up a little bit. Oh, so skill size is only level five. Um, I feel like by the time I hit level 10 for the weapon skill size, it's probably going to be about the same size as Colorless Glyph without the relic. Or sorry, with the relic. So that's honestly one of the things I'm concerned about. But I'm going to go ahead and and actually, I'll get the max weapon skill size. I'll be back once I hit max weapon skill size. Uh, all right, here it is with max skill size. It is about the same size as colorless glyph actually i think colorless glyph is a little bit bigger i'm about to die so but i think colorless glyph is actually a little bit bigger so that's something i'm concerned about honestly um but i'm gonna go ahead and get to the next version and i'll show you guys what the other upgrade path looks like for the aura branch all right friends we are back and we are about to hit level 60 um, I did happen to get the relic for the colorless glyph on this run and so I wanted to show you guys how big it gets and why I am concerned about the crusader currently. So for the second path we're going to be choosing the imperial presence. This increases the max SP to 400 and now it deals two times damage at all times which is great and then every time the weapon skill is used the additional attack has a six times base damage so this is great but i am worried about it so i'm only hitting for looks like 880 consistently so you want to do six times that i'm, I'm too lazy to do the math but it's around 5000 um but as great DPS as that is, um, I am pretty concerned for the Crusader with just this evolution path. Uh, my reason being, uh, take a look at my colorless glyph right now. It is level 7, and I only have one level in expansion. I have the relic, which doubles the size of colorless glyph, but this is already significantly larger than the aura was with the other level 60 branch and that is concerning now i don't see a reason to ever go that path basically there's no real good reason because colorless glyphs damage is also pretty good i mean it's not hitting for you know the same amount that the aura was but i personally don't think that dealing the most damage is the most important thing right now as you've seen in my other video uh, the combination that I think is the best is Colorless Glyph and Death Sting together. And that's all about dealing damage more often than dealing the most damage. And while the aura is great because it does deal damage constantly and you can pair that with Death Sting as well. So it might be like a nice additional little thing in there. If you have Colorless Glyph to this size as well as the aura to a little bit smaller than that. And throw in Purifying Circle you got, you know, four rings of defense which is pretty funny in itself. But uh... The damage, though, isn't really what's important. So you can see on the boss, the DPS is pretty good for the six times base damage, but it's not like mind boggling damage. So I am concerned for this evolution path for the Crusader. Um, I think that separating the hammers and the aura just in this instance is not good. I am interested to see how the hammers look, and I will make a video on that later. But for the first evolution path, I am definitely concerned about it unless other changes are made so this is the beta guys so things are obviously subject to change there might be changes to other weapon skills that impact this build in particular but for the time being where it's at just right now right which obviously it's going to get tuned i do not feel super great about this first evolution path for the crusader as always guys thank you so much for the support and all the subs i really appreciate it I will be making another Crusader video looking at the Hammer Evolution Path, and I will upload that as soon as I possibly can. It'll probably be the next day, 
and I hope I will see you there. As always, thanks a ton. I'll see you on the next one.